Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to speak about how some kind of plants and fungi and even other animals they serve to change their minds and the consciousness of some animals and how some of these animals they look for these substances instinctively not for nutritious but as a speculation by the scientists to change their minds. Today we're going to speak about the local wheat that is very effective with sheep, goats, horses, cows and is a big problem for farmers because it can be addictive. So let's check it out. Local wheat, also known as crazy grass, is a type of grass that farmers have been aware of for a long time because of how it affects some animals. At times, the animals who are addicted to the local grass or crazy weed, they show signs of addiction, withdrawal and even hallucinations. The first time the local weed was described, the farmers noticed that some animals who ate this specific type of grass, they started to isolate themselves and stop eating anything else except this local weed. They also noticed that some animals became hostile and refused to return to the group. As soon as these animals came into contact with the local weed, they became obsessed with it. And besides the intoxication and the isolation effects, the big problem is that these animals became obsessed with this grass, eating only this type of grass. And this local weed is not particularly nutritious. And these animals would eat nothing else and sometimes would have health problems and in some cases even cause death. So you can imagine how alarmed the farmers were in 1983 in Kansas when more than 25,000 animals became addicted to this local weed and it would eat nothing else. Even though the effects of the local weed can be pretty damaged by itself, the withdrawal symptoms are even worse. Animals who are addicted to the crazy grass and are taken away from it a lot of times they started to stumble around like they're drunk. Some animals have spasms and convulsions and suddenly some of them start to have anger fits, getting very hostile very quickly. And all these symptoms, they suddenly disappear if the animal eats the local weed again. And sometimes these animals who are addicted, they're going through the withdrawal and then they consume the local weed again. They are found in a slumber, like they are super drunk. In some other cases, the animal is completely revitalized. But one specific type of grass from the type Chachaquita, some animals, especially cows, they, when they are addicted to this type of grass, sometimes they are consumed by this rage and they run away from the herd looking for the places where the local weed grows. And in some cases, these cows, they run so much that they often run off a cliff or sometimes they even have a heart attack. Another big problem farmers face is that the more the animals consume the local weed, the more it grows. The theory is that the animals, they transport the seeds of the local weed around and starts growing, 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 but also that the animals will not eat other types of grasses. And some horses or cows, they are reported to even turn over wagons full of local wheat when the farmers are removing from the field. In some cases, it was observed that in small doses, the local wheat could bring vitality and make the animal more energetic and could be beneficial. But this obsessive search for the local wheat is also one of its defining characteristics. It could cause the animal to neglect their communities and also themselves. Because of its low nutritious value, it is not uncommon for the animal to pass away. In humans, some species, some types of this crazy grass, they can be neurotoxic, but other types in small doses could be even relaxing, served in a tea, but also in higher doses, it could be even psychedelic. Some of the animals affected are mules, donkeys, horses, cows, sheep, antelopes, pigs, rabbits, and hens. Psychedelics and other plants, they affect humans and they have this capacity to change our lives, this transformative potential. In animals, we see the behavior that some animals, they 
eat a substance, a plant, a fungi, or even other insects and other animals with the intention to intoxicate themselves. Scientists think that an animal that looks for a certain plant, not for sustaining, for gaining energy, but simply for the effect that it causes. It what may indicate that these animals, they have an instinct to change, to alter their minds and consciousnesses. And I think we can think about this and try to apply this to our own reality. How is our relationship with our plants and fungi, with nature? And how does knowing more about how animals interact with these plants, with the substances, help us human beings navigate this psychedelic landscape better. So in this series, we're gonna be speaking about the animal instinct to look for plants and fungi for looking for ways of changing their consciousness. So thanks so much for watching and have a great journey.